Sure. It's, uh, I mean, it's funny because it's sometimes kind of hard to even explain. We were shooting, we shot all summer, and a lot of the crew were always saying that, you know, people, I'm telling people what I'm working on, and they're, they're asking me what it is, and I don't even know what to say. Like, it's, basically, it's a fake-ish reality show. It's mostly scripted, but there's reality moments, and it's about, like, this, gen it comes from a genuine place of just me liking gear, and gear has kind of a wide definition of, just stuff like you know I, mean, I like this backpack and I like the thing and like the little clasp you know you know just all the little details pick gear it doesn't have to be athletic it doesn't have to be sports it can be like I told a friend of mine about it and she went oh my god I'm into these Japanese pens right now and all the cartridges and it's got this case and I like the way it slides in the case like anytime you just start obsessing and nerding out on all the details about it it's kind of rooted in that and it just comes from a genuine place and then it's mostly scripted and goes off on these super dumb tangents. So how did it come about? How, how did it become a show? It kind of became a show where it was a really loose idea. I had done a live bit several times where I just went on stage wearing, I've done it with this jacket and this other jacket. I bought this really nice raincoat, more of a high-end like probably too much jacket I didn't really use more of like an like for ice climbing but it's a like <laughs> nice like north face you know the brand Arcteryx mm -hmm. it's this company called West I'm not plugging products but you know it's, <laughs> they, it's just expensive stuff and I bought this really nice raincoat and I, I just went on stage and just said you know I was I had writer's block and I was trying to think of a bit to do tonight and I went to that tried and true device of just write about your passions write about what you love and I just thought I love this raincoat so I'm just going to talk about my raincoat on stage. And there's no jokes, it's really dry, but for whatever reason it just goes well. People just seem to kind of enjoy it when I've done it. And I'm not doing it in traditional comedy clubs where it might not do well. Who knows, maybe not. Anyway, and then I would do like, I would talk about the jacket and all the features and the pit zips and the tabs. And then I'd open it up to a Q&A. <coughs> audience, you can ask me any question you want, it's got to be about the jacket. And that's a lot of just ad lib stuff. And, that was always fun to do, and it just seemed like, at the time, I thought this could be a funny segment in a larger show if I ever wanted to pitch like some kind of sketch show or a variety show, or a potpourri of ideas. And then that idea just sort of became bigger, and I think my managers had a meeting with True TV and just mentioned it offhandedly, and they just responded to it. <laughs> and so I put something together and pitched it to them, and they liked it. And just kept evolving while we were writing and shooting the pilot and even the the script for the show. So that's kind of the long-winded answer of where it came from. I think it's not a really an idea to root itself in, I guess. I don't know. So that's is, sort of. So is filming this show different from filming any other shows that you've worked on? I mean, yes and no. It's just different because it's... Um, Every episode's different. There's not really through lines. There are recurring characters. And so there are things that we have to kind of remind the audience about, or if you're watching, you'll like know some of the characters. But it's all, since I'm playing a heightened version of myself, basically. I mean, we were joking during the pilot that it felt like delocated without the mask. So I'm playing <laughs> such an asshole version of me, but I'm not a character this time. And, uh, in that sense, it's different, you know, it felt different because every episode is different. And so it's not like we're shooting these stories that connect to each other, even though in some ways they lose. So that's where it started to feel different. The shooting was kind of similar, like the schedule and all that. But because we mostly shot in order as much as we could, that was kind of fun because it was always something new each week and made it pretty enjoyable. So what kind of gear did actually make it into the final product? I mean, you've talked about a variety of different things, but you know, what can we expect to actually see in the show? Some of the examples, like we did for the pilot, which is not going to air with the trail running. The first episode is camping. Uh, the second episode is cycling. There's hockey. Um, baseball. There's one about dogs and dog gear. Yeah, there's just tons of stuff. So, yeah. Urban gardening, urban farming surfing so it's kind of a you know it's mostly yeah, it runs the gamut yeah. it 
it really is kind of open-ended to what it could be. There could certainly be an episode about cameras, all the camera gear, all the lenses, mm. all the bags, and the travel stuff, and the vest. And the, you know, it just it yeah. just starts to expand and expand. And even like, here's a hat, and it's not made for photography, but I like the way it fits, and it covers, it gives me enough shade, and, you know, whatever. So mm. those are some of the things. So you have some pretty amazing guests on the show, you know, from Janine Garoppolo to Shannon. So. Um, how, I guess, what's their level of this uh, love for the gear? And, and are they there mostly like lots of gear for the fun of it, or are they kind of geeks about the gear too? What, what's the balance there? As far as I know, they were, you know, certainly approached for the story ideas. I don't know if they have individually gear enthusiasm. Excuse me. That they were two examples of people, and most of the people involved, I think, because it is mostly story driven ideas. Each episode, even though it's rooted in this love of gear, and that's a through line throughout all of them. Uh, yeah, it was all for the comments. You know, I think anyone who's been talking to you, you could probably pick something up where it's just, yeah, I, I love blank, and you can go on and on and on about it. It might seem super boring unless you're into it, and then it's not. Episode or topic, I guess, ended up being one that you didn't expect to be really amazing, and it's just like you cannot miss. We're still editing, so some of the episodes we haven't even gotten to yet. So it's hard to say. Of the ones we've done, I do think they're all turning out really good. Um, surfing is a really cool one. It's about half. I think it's the, it's the halfway point of the season. Start doing a lot of different things with it that we haven't done in any other episodes, and it's really kind of special. I don't want to give too much away, but it's a good one. I don't want to take anything away from the other episodes, but that has really turned out to be a really, we're calling it special, because it's really strange, it gets really weird, it's really funny, it's shot beautifully. Like, we have, we, it still was shot really nicely. You know, with Neon Joe, it was a very cinematically shot show, and it looked great. And this was still more a reality show, but it's shot really well, it looks great. And some of the footage is genuinely excellent. It looks really nice, uh, especially in this, in this oh, there's a surfing episode. Did I say surfing or fishing? Surfing. I meant fishing. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But surfing's also great. We're in the middle of editing that one right now. I just came from work. And that's also got some great footage. The fishing one is a weird one. They're all they're all weird in moments for sure. They all get kind of strange at times, just because that's what I like to do. It's a little more grounded in reality, but then it breaks. Are there any topics that you haven't been able to explore yet that you're hoping you can do later on in the season, or you know, potentially oh, yes. next season, etc.? That would be more potentially next season, just because mm -hmm. all the episodes are shot yeah. and now we're editing. So, but there was a huge list before we started writing scripts about potential topics and there's just so many weird areas we do so hopefully we'll get to do another season and get to do more like trail running is actually something I run a lot I really want to do a running episode and if we get to do another season and that was in the mix for this first season mm -hmm. and we'll that. so hopefully we'll get did you have a favorite moment on set while you were making a show I don't know if this is my favorite, but it's the one I think of first when you asked that question, which was, we had some idea in one of these episodes where I'm wearing a ski mask, and it's the actual delocated ski mask, and we wanted to do a joke where I'm like doing a thing and I'm hiding behind a car, and then have somebody, you know, a, a scripted actor pre pretend to be a real person, just, you know, hey, delocated! And I was going to be like, yeah, yeah, thanks, okay, and just trying to get back to the task at hand. <laughs> And maybe five minutes, and we ended up doing a different thing in the, in the script. We didn't do that. And then, five, like, not, maybe not even five minutes after we wrapped, that was the last thing of the day. We're all kind of getting ready to leave. And for real, a dude on the street went, hey, delocated. Because <laughs> he saw me, and it was so strange. We were all like, what the, what the fuck just happened? That was so weird. It was hilarious. Good, yeah, if you're, you don't have to keep going. If you're done, that I won't be insulted. <laughs> hmm. I had a question. It disappeared, so I was hoping you guys had something else. <laughs> How 
How's the like price range for like the gear that you guys talk about? Is it all like high tech, high end, expensive stuff, or is it like moderate, like any average Joe essentially could go out and get it? Do you range? I think it really depends on each episode. And I think it just runs the gamut of. You know, so oh, how did you find the gear? Like, what was the process like of, like, we're going to do, you know, let's say we are saying the fishing episode. How, what was that like to find this, this, this stuff that you were like, this is what I'm going to think, this is what I want to cover, this is what I want to cover. Yeah, I think a lot of that really depended on the ideas that we were doing in the story. Okay. And then it would be dependent on, oh, we need this and this and this and this. And then we would just start either looking online or asking people and finding out what's the cool stuff to use or the right stuff to use. There's a handful of things that are just, let's go to the store and run mm -hmm. around. Okay. And just kind of like, learn out on like, oh, this is cool, tell me about this. And that, those are the reality moments that appear throughout the episodes where, like in the fishing one, we went to a fishing store that's in the middle of, it's not even that far from here, it's like in the 30s. And it's an amazing store. I mean, I don't know how to, I don't know how to fish with it. <laughs> but there's so much just, I thought, like, Amazing looking stuff to see, really cool designs, beautiful looking rods. And I don't fish at all, and I still thought this is gorgeous how it's made. And that's a big component of the show. And that's like high end stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's stuff like in the camping where it's here's this little massage ball that's this big and it's designed to fit in your backpack and take up no room, and it's seven bucks. So there's lots of things where you might find some super cool piece of gear that costs nothing and you'll use it every day. Like I have it in one of my backpacks. Do you have a favorite product that you found through the show? Yeah, a few of them. There was this, uh, I like to bike a lot and I ride to work a lot and commute and this company called Pactimor. Uh -huh. I think I'm pronouncing it right. They make cycling <laughs> jerseys and shorts and it's fairly high end but it's really nice and I've never heard of them before and they were kind enough they sent us some stuff mm -hmm. to try. And we were pretty open about like, you know, if you want to send us stuff, we, we can't promise it to be in the show, but a lot of it ended up in the show because <laughs> a lot of it was just cool. And that, I really like their stuff. They made a jacket, but it's like a fall weather jacket, so nice. So it's been like a real treat for you because you get to explore all the stuff that you're interested in, but then you also get to find all those new things. Oh yeah, it's been, that part's been pretty cool. <laughs> Just discovering, and there's lots of websites that are out there where you can really just see lots of things that you've never even like. Last question. Like, about this website, Uncrate, you ever that? It's pretty high end and more like style and fashion y, <laughs> but there's some really kick ass shit on there. And it runs, I mean, it's mostly, I think, it's all gear, but there's tons of websites. Did you find anything that seems like a little like undercover right now that you're thinking if it once if it's in the show and wants to speak the seas if it'll take off. Um just trying to think. It's hard to say what's gonna take off. Mm -hmm. There are a few things in the show that I think are pretty cool that I never heard about and discovered by just research mm -hmm. and they look amazing. And I would imagine there's a handful of things. I don't want to say what they are because I might give some jokes away. Right. But I do think there's a handful of things in the show where people go, that's cool, and want to look up what it is. And some of them are just weird, and I don't even know if you'd ever buy them. And there are maybe some of them are a little expensive. Right. But it's, it was cool to get them for the show. A couple of things in particular. I can't say what I shouldn't say. Well, yeah, I don't, don't want to say it. Don't spoil it. It's okay. This particular one's a really good one, and I think it's better when you see it and go, oh my god, cool. It sounds like it's just very fun. Huh? <laughs> it was a very fun shoot, and I think the show is pretty fun. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Thank it's so been yeah. great talking. Can we just get a picture? <laughs>